A historic church in Savannah is finding a new place to hold services after losing their building to a fire. WSAB's Eden Hodges was with them on Sunday morning and joins us now in studio. Savannah fire officials are saying it was a lightning strike to the steeple, which started the fire and took the roof of the 102 year old church. At Central Missionary Baptist Church, it's about the congregation. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Not the sanctuary. Central Missionary has no sanctuary besides this one for the day. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. After a lightning strike caught their steeple on fire last week, which collapsed their roof on top of their altar and pews, leaving their place of worship almost unrecognizable. We've had a chance to go through our shock and our anger, and so now we are accepting that, you know, the Lord is going to do something new and different in our time here at Central. St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church's pastor was out of town this week, so he invited Pastor Tyrone Edwards to take over Sunday services and to bring his church with him. We thank God for the pastor for reaching out. We thank God for this man of God right here. We just thank God that he led us to this church on this day, but we still worshiping, even though the tragedy that happened, we're still in the Lord house worshiping God. Pastor Edwards says they haven't figured out where service will be held while they rebuild their sanctuary. But he says he was shocked at the outpour of love coming from other churches in the area. I cannot tell you how many churches offered us the ability to come out and fellowship with them and worship with them today. So we thank every church that I can, if you, you wouldn't have a segment if I named them all. <laughs> Sunday service combined the congregations and choirs of the two churches. Pastor Edwards now in high spirits sees a greater purpose called of them amidst the tragedy. This is one way that God gets us out of the building. Uh, so many times as churches, we stay within our four walls. The issue with us staying within our four walls is sometimes we don't get a chance to touch the people that need to be touched. Central Missionary will continue to update their Facebook page as they figure things out. Pastor Edwards tells me they haven't been able to assess the extent of the damage to their church yet. They're working with the insurance company and accepting donations on their Facebook page. Eden Hodges, WSAV News 3.